Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, I don't know if you watched my last video uh, at the show. I said I was going to give you guys, I don't know, a little look at some of my garter snakes that I have in my collection. So I went out and picked out just a couple of my my snakes, like this girl here. This is a plains garter. She's actually gravid. Um, she's het for albino, and. Uh, She's due to give birth any day. And I'm going to show you guys. I have a few down here. I have a lot more. I have about 150 garter snakes. And um, I've only been doing this for about three years. I haven't been doing it very long. Not as long as some people. But I am learning a lot about the species. I'm learning a lot about the do's and don'ts of uh, keeping them. And uh, how... Uh, to cope with some of the issues that you do find with keeping garter snakes. So, uh, let's get into this. All right. So, uh, you can see my, uh, <laughs> it's my California red-sided garter, male. Female is back there. She doesn't smell the food yet, so he is lucky because when she does, he will get booted out of there real quick. Um, that is my breeding pair. And uh, that is the most popular garter snake in the uh, garter snake business. And that is a blue stripe California garter. Um, she had her first litter last year. They just turned a year or so each. And uh, she had 34 babies, and uh, I kept a few, and I sold around 25, and they sold in less than 24 hours. Um, so, yeah, the most popular garter snake right now. Uh, let's see what I have here. So this, this is my Snow Plains Garter. And uh, she's in shed right now. We're going to, about to be. You guys can see how pretty she is. And she's got a great disposition. And she's a beauty. So once she goes into shed, I'm going to pair her up with a black and white male is antics. And I also have a red pet albino male that I'll put her with and hopefully one of the two will uh, breed with her and she's pretty big and she'll have lots of babies and, uh, and she's a great eater. Um, she eats rat pinks two at a time per feeding and uh, I have a feeling she still has some growth. Alright, let's see. What do I have in this one? All right, so <laughs> these are my Eastern Flames. These are both females. Um, you can see the bright red. Like that. If that's not a beaut, there's the other girl. Ooh, they're probably going to make a run for it if I don't pick them up soon. She's a little different. She's got a bright little orange run down her, her spine there. And, but she still has that real bright red coloring. And uh, she is eight months old. And this one is... Oh, come on, guys. This one's five. Come on. And for anybody out there who's never kept garter snakes, uh, be warned. They are wily and they are crazy. And just when you think they're all calm, they uh, go nuts. So keep that in mind if you actually want to get into garter snakes, which I recommend people uh, to do. But make sure you do your research on the types of garter snakes that you're looking into. Um, this way you understand how the species acts and what's required of them. 
Uh, some require different things than others, and some are just pain in the butts and don't eat very well, or they're not very good with uh, being kept in captivity. So here's this butte. This is an albino eastern garter. This is one of my biggest girls, and this is another one of her. Very similar snake, um, just different ages. This girl, the smaller one, she's just a year, and this one is two years. And uh, she, I'm trying to get her to breed to my double het males I have, and um, this way all the babies will be albino. Um, and they'll look just like her, maybe a little darker, maybe even a little lighter. Um, a real robust snake, a uh, great eater, <laughs> and uh, excellent personality. Excellent. Uh, a fun, fun, fun snake. Um, would make a great pet, I think, for anybody um, if they just like to watch the snakes move and do their thing and uh, eat, and they'll, uh, they'll impress you. <laughs> and... Um, and a lot of people don't realize all the different colors that garter snakes come in. And when they see them, they're like, wow, I, I, I never knew garter snakes were, were that pretty. But, uh, yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they have a lot. This is just nothing, but um, it's just showing you a couple things. And I hope you guys enjoy this little quick video. It's nothing crazy. I'm not going to go on and preach about how garter snakes are a great starter snake and all that stuff. Uh, I leave that up to the person. Do your research on what you like and then uh, decide for yourselves uh, corn snakes guard snakes pythons um, they all require you know a lot of TLC and you know patience and understanding and uh, blood sweat and tears as I like to say because I've gone through enough of it so I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, please ask any questions um, if you want to see more please ask that too because I'd love to show you some other stuff I do have quite a bit. I can get the California garters out. I have some Oregon spotted. I have some other Easterns. I have some albinos. So I'd love to show you guys a, a little more. So I appreciate it. And for those guys that always watch my videos, I thank you.